When I was only 13 years old, I saved up all my money to buy a pair of Nike Legends. I know that sounds strange, but I loved the way that they looked. I loved the way that they felt. I loved the way that they smelled. I was so proud to wear these things through the hall of Bullen Junior High School. For 40 years, no other shoe has made me feel the way that I felt about those Legends until now. Welcome to Stray Reviews, I am Lee, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Grant Stone Brass Boot in Crimson Chrome XL Horween Leather. The Brass Boot is a mock toe boot with a one piece vamp, so you might want to call it a mock mock toe. It is built around Grant Stone's Floyd Last, which seems to run just a little bit roomier than the Leo last that their diesel boot is built on. These are Goodyear welt constructed with a veg tanned welt, a veg tanned insole, and a veg tanned midsole. They also have a steel shank and cork filler. These boots have a buttery soft kip leather lining and it goes all the way into the toe and it has a rubber lug sole for traction and are going to be great in snow or mud. The eyelets on these and the speed hooks are a gorgeous antique brass and they are secured by these sort of narrow flat wax laces. These boots go for $380 and they are made in China. If you want even more details on these, I'm going to leave a link to the boots in the description. So why do these boots give me all the good feels? We're going to explore that as we look at the good, the bad, and the bottom line of the Grant Stone Brass Boots. All right, let's start with the good of the Grant Stone Brass Boot. Now it is easy to see why some people would consider this kind of their grail boot. The leather selection is perfect. Honestly, from heel to toe. They just kind of beckon you to give them a feel. And the Kip leather lining on the inside just feels so luxurious. And you know what? You guessed it. They smell absolutely amazing. The construction on these boots is top notch. I have not found so much as a loose stitch on them. And the brass hardware gives me full confidence in their durability and their longevity. I am far from worried about losing a speed hook on one of these brass boots. One of the things that I really appreciate about the brass boot is that it is such a sturdy feeling boot, but at the same time, it manages to be comfortable right out of the box. Now these things might not feel like sneakers, but I have no hot spots. There's no uncomfortable rubbing at the collar and honestly, I'm in no hurry to get them off my feet at the end of the day. I really love the looks of these boots. They have a somewhat rugged appearance, but also at the same time, they carry a measure of class. I've been able to wear these boots with jeans and a t-shirt, khakis and a button down. And you know for sure that I'm going to be wearing these boots with a sweater when the weather cools down. I'm really looking forward to seeing how this crimson chrome XL leather patinas. And I just have a great feeling that they're going to age beautifully. Hey, if you like your boots with plenty of character, then tap that like button for me. Just like when I was 13 years old and my Nike legends had a quality that made me want to kind of study them closer and maybe appreciate them a little bit more and wear them more often. The brass boot actually has that same effect on me, believe it or not. All right, let's talk about the bad of the Grant Stone brass boot. With so much to love, what do I have to complain about? Well, really only two small things. The first thing is that the brass boot is a heavy boot and they have a particular weighty clunky character to them that some people might not like. My wife doesn't need to be with me to be able to tell when I have these things on because she knows by the sound that they make when I'm walking down the stairs. However, on the flip side of that, all of this wonderful veg tan leather and these rubber soles and this Horween Chrome XL is definitely worth the weight in my opinion. And I would take the weight of these boots over cheaper materials any day. And the other small thing in the bad column are these laces. See these laces here? These laces, they look great, but 
they just love to loosen up on me before I can even get them fully tied. And I will definitely be replacing these laces. Hey, help me out. What are your favorite laces for boots? And what laces would you put on these or would you just leave these ones on? Let me know in the comments below. All right, I'm gonna give you my bottom line opinion. But if you're getting some value out of this, then I wanna invite you to tap that subscribe button so that you'll catch my upcoming review videos. Okay, the bottom line is that the Grant Stone Brass Boot is a classy, luxurious, comfortable, and surprisingly versatile boot made from gorgeous materials and with skilled construction. And the only thing I would change about these is the laces. Can you tell I like these? If you want to see more Mokto boot reviews, here's my Mokto review playlist. I want to thank Grant Stone for providing these boots for review. My opinions are my own. And I want to thank you for watching. I'll see you over the next video.